Hello. So to start, we need to understand what is software engineering. So I will try first to answer this question what, about what is software engineering. And I'm going to do it in two steps. In the first step, I'm going to basically look at different definitions and analyze these definitions. And in, uh, in the second step, I'm going to characterize a little bit about what is software and what is the software process. So let's start with what is software engineering and by looking at different definitions of software engineering. So in the companion, you have uh, different definitions. And if you look at the first one, you see that, for instance, the emphasis here is on engineering discipline and production of software. That's the Jan Somerville's definition. And so it talks and refers this idea that you probably need to have a systematic way to do something. And what you want to do is to produce software. In the second definition by even Somerville, it defines in the sense of the purpose of software engineering. And it refers that is to achieve business goals. So here, the emphasis is on the quality of the product. So it's the production of software, but actually that has some value. Okay? And we'll see that this idea of the value is particularly relevant when we talk about software engineering. Mary Shaw's definition tries to relate software engineering with engineering in general and other engineering disciplines. So it emphasizes that software engineering is a branch of computer science. So it refers to computer science as the science that we use when we develop software, so when we do software engineering. And again, it looks from the point of view of engineering, and one of the aspects of the engineering is the cost of the production. So cost-effective solutions is another emphasis that is doing. And again, it refers that it's important to develop systems that are in the service of, uh, of mankind. Well, this is another way to state that you want to achieve business goals. So it's again this idea of the value. Douglas Bell's definition is very succinct, and it says that software engineering is about methods, tools, and techniques. Well, actually, method, tools, and techniques is are what you are going to learn during this course in order to develop software. The next definition by Eric Broad and Michael Bernstein emphasizes again this idea of the quality of what you produce and actually states a little bit more, is, is more concrete about what type of quality. So you want reliable software, efficient software, software that is as maintainable, so that probably the cost of maintaining is low. Okay, so emphasizes these these aspects related with the quality of the product. And as we learn, we learn that it's important to address these qualities when you develop software. Finally, the IEEE definition refers a bit about a systematic, disciplined, and quantified approach to the, to, to the development, operation, and maintenance of software. Here, the, the idea that you can measure is an important thing in software engineering, but again, is a very interesting aspect that we'll discuss during the course because how difficult or how easy is to measure when we compare to other disciplines. So how easy is to, to measure the reliability of a system? How easy is to measure the maintainability of a system? So it's very interesting when you see all these definitions and how they start to, in some sense, uh, show the, the forces that we need to address when you uh, do software engineering. So in synthesis, what we can say is that software engineering is about build software artifacts, okay, to achieve business goals that execute on top of the Turing machine. So it's something that is going to execute to, in, in a computer to solve some kind of problem, okay? So, and it's engineering in the sense that you try to maximize the value of the product you're going to build and minimize the cost. This relation between maximizing the value and the cost, usually when you build a software product, is a matter of a trade-off that you decide what is more relevant. So, imagine that you, when you launch the, the first rockets to space, maybe you try to min maximize 
the cost. Uh, sorry, you need you want to maximize the value, but then when you start building the the space shuttle, you want to minimize the cost. So, depending on the context, depending on the type of the problem, either you go for maximizing the value or minimize the cost. So there's always a trade-off. So software engineering is engineering, but what is open now, and the question that I will try to address next is, is, is there some difference from other engineering, or there are, what characterizes software engineering that make it a particular kind of engineering? Is it really a particular kind of engineering? So I will address this next.